I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm a little sad my kids going back to school. Hi, my name is Raquel Ashley, and I'm gonna stay at home. I'm a four because now I gotta start waking up at six a.m. and I am not a morning person. Not until about seven, eight o'clock anyway. And during summer break and school time, kids act different. Kids wake up five o'clock easily on the summer break, and they went to bed at four o'clock. And on the school time, my kids gotta go to bed at nine o'clock. Everybody. But then when I go wake them up, they so tired. They can't find no clothes. They can't find no socks. They can't find nothing. They can't find their mind. They don't love their book bags at school. They lost their eye. But you know what? This year I'm coming up with a different system. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm gonna figure it out because I got a little bit of time. But I'm left. definitely not gonna miss them being home all day and eating up on my food. I'm not gonna miss that. I got some time to myself. Oh girl, I'm gonna have so much fun. to go to the gym because I can't go to the gym when my kids is here. And I hate working out at home, but I can't wait to start really going to the gym. And I like going swimming at the YMCA. I can't wait. But in other news, my birthday is coming up. I have no idea what I'm doing. So I had a couple places in mind, but I don't want to go to the places. I want to go out of the country. I don't want to be here. My birthday is a week away, so whatever I'm doing, I need to figure out fast. Now I know I do want to go somewhere that has crabs because I want to indulge in a bunch of crabs on my birthday, especially the blue crabs. Also, I went to the doctor's the other day and I found out I had swimmer's ear. I don't even put my head in the water. But that's how I thought you get swimmer's ear, but you can get it from so many different ways. And I know Q-tips not really good for you, but baby, I like to put a little hot water to rub it in my ear. It feels so good. When I tell you I'm over here struggling to hear because every couple hours I gotta put ear drops in my now, ear. Now I gotta put them in both ears, but because I want hair, I put them in one ear at a time, and that's so stressful because I be walking around looking crazy. But at nighttime, I can't hear nothing. If my kids was fighting, I wouldn't even hear so it. So take my advice. Do not put nothing in the ear. Try your best not to get swimmer's ear because it's really irritating. Parent check-in. How y'all feeling today? Don't forget I have parent check-in every Monday and Thursday on YouTube.